Back in surgery at the Kapama Game Reserve, the temperature is rising. Doc Rogers is starting to sweat. See the pale colour of the tongue is typical with this anaesthetic. It's better not to actually even look at it. It just makes you worried. This patient is extremely precious, and despite all the doc's experience and all the safety procedures in the world, every time you administer an anaesthetic, you take a risk. And Cozy's wound has become seriously infected. I just went in. The first thing Doc Rogers needs to do is inject some antibiotics into Uncozy. See what's happening to Chris Marie is that the, uh, you know, they obviously got hold of him. Mm -hmm. And then they just held him. Uh, and yeah. from the outside, looks like the superficial damage just because he got a little puncture. You know, he was obviously twisting his foot so the flesh inside gets hammered as well. And you know, from the outside, it looks all nice and mm. hunky dory, but you don't know what's going on on the inside. So, what's actually happened here is it's actually, you know, with all the bleeding inside, blood is a perfect culture medium for bacteria. In the, uh, in the big blood, the big blood clot that was, that was caused. Let's keep on your breathing, eh? Okay. Okay, so we're just flushing him with uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide and iodine, just to get all the muck out. The peroxide uh, dissolves all the dead tissue. It's starting to look a bit better already. ID is one of the oldest antiseptics around, but probably still the best. See, it goes right up to here. Mm. Right. I feel a lot better after this. See, what, what, what only worries me now is it's draining nicely, but you know, with all this pus and stuff coming out, it attracts uh, flies. The area is sprayed to keep flies away. With the wound now thoroughly cleaned, Nkozi is taken back to his pen. When he wakes up, he'll be with his friend again. Next day, and the patient seems to be bouncing back nicely, and Doc Rogers explains the aftercare procedure to Maria. So, two and a half tablets again tonight, and then for the next four days. Two and a half in the morning, two and a half at night. All right. Okay. You almost didn't make it, eh? Yeah, but he seems to be okay. Thanks to Doc Rogers, oh, and Cozy's future looks assured, but in a place like the Kapama Game Reserve, you never know what's around the corner. No, he's quite What is certain is that Doc Rogers will be on hand to patch up any casualties. In the next program, the vets and volunteers at the Kenyana Wildlife Centre.